welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't met me before or watched any of my videos, my name is Jeanette and I'm the blogger behind eleganceofshade.com. In the description box you'll notice I've left all my links to my blog, which I've worked quite hard at, including my social media with my Instagram, my Facebook and all that um, fun stuff. I left that there for you so if you're interested after seeing this video you're welcome to come follow me there and join in on the fun. Um, I will be, be excuse my French <laughs> I will be uploading more videos on YouTube which I'm excited to do. I love what I'm going to be talking about today and I'm hoping you guys will follow along in every aspect if, you're, if you like and yeah interested in my style and we'll talk about fashion which is something I love. I could talk about it all day, but unfortunately this video can only, YouTube, well, I should say YouTube can only hold my video for so long, so um, but you're quite lucky there. <laughs> so I thought I'd get that out of the way and we can then start into the video. Um, again, my name is Jeanette and my blog is called elegantofshade.com, so therefore my um, style is very classic and elegant. Um, it's taken me a while to get to this point, don't worry about that. Um, in my early 20s I used to buy fast fashion and try to make it girly because in the end of the day um, my style is timeless but um, I mean uh, my background and I used to my parents my background um, was um, European so therefore we had to dress accordingly when we go out go visit people go visit family so um, because apparently we represent the family so we used to actually dress up or not get overdressed but dress nicely dress appropriately and that's instilled in me in my style not to say that you know I haven't had fun and I still do but it's a bit more conservative and a bit more covered um, which I personally like so um, you know like yeah I personally don't like showing too much um, those were the days probably if I did but still I dress a bit more elegant, like I said, and you know, now in my mid-30s, my style's become timeless, and um, see today, I've got a colour palette and my wardrobe. I've got a few colour, but not a lot. I'm trying to incorporate it so this only, I mean, I live in Melbourne, so therefore the black is black. The black clothing passion is real, and um, yeah, so before rambling on, um, so I've had quite a, quite a couple of few cups of coffee so if you've got one feel free to put your feet up and enjoy the video let's get started so I've written it down um, I've got quite a few versions of things on the on the clothing so um, hopefully you guys will be interested so yeah anyway I'm gonna talk about jackets first we're gonna talk about the outerwear jackets are something that I've got heaps in my wardrobe I um, actually don't have heaps but I've got a, f a good few varieties they last me a long time depending obviously on the quality but you know I want something that's going to look smart and sophisticated like I said my style is very elegant and I, and, you know but still at the same time I like to be fun but um yeah. so I'm going to show you my first first jacket out of wear I should say sorry my clothing is all here um I think I've featured this before in my channel I'm not sure if you guys can see it it's quite dirty from the makeup unfortunately but um, this is a, not a bar man, this is a Portman's, um, my favourite jacket. This is such a statement jacket without actually being over the top, which is my favourite. Um, yeah, what can I not say about this jacket? I love bar man. I mean, oh, I would love to have one of those blazers. Seriously, black, blue, one button, these buttons, this amount of buttons, I'd love one. Unfortunately, I can't afford that. So I've been trying to find a good dupe and I've found one. I find the Portman's one great quality. I don't know about you, but I am the type of person that would actually feel the material and I was trying so many and some were just too straight line, too thin, not going to keep me warm enough, the black wasn't nice, the buttons were too like really gold and I didn't like the silver ones. So I found this one the best version I've seen. Um, the only thing is obviously it's white so it's got makeup all over it, I've dry cleaned this before but I might have to dry clean it again. But um, I'm trying to find it, like I said, trying to find a black version so obviously I can wear it with leather leggings or um, like going to work. If I work back in the office, you know, I can chuck that on. Nice, or even like going out, going out for drinks, nice skivvy or nice je jeans, anything like that. So I can dress it up just in the Okay, so 
I bought this purely because of the cut. Now, I'm a, I'm a woman, I've got curves. This accentuates them. This is one of the reasons why I picked it. When I put this on, it just makes me feel like a real boss. Um, so that's one of the reasons why, and the cut's amazing. The material is great, excuse that it's dirty. I'll get it cleaned again. But um, it's my favorite jacket, favorite blazer. It looks really smart, really sophisticated. Want dressed up to a dress down. Um, and the buttons are like that really nice cross between gold and silver, which is quite nice, not turkey or anything like that. So this is one of my favorite jackets. Wear it to work, wear it to play. That's one of the reasons why I featured this in my video. Anyway, the um, next one, I'm actually wearing it. My denim jacket. Where do you think I got this jacket from? Drum roll, please. Came up. It was only like $22. It was nothing. I put this purely because I had a photo shoot now, but I wanted to incorporate like a really casual look for me. So, denim for me feels casual. Well, can be casual. So, I decided to buy this from Kmart. Now, for me, I decided to spend $22 because it wasn't worthwhile investment. It's just something I'm just going to wear. If it lasts me till the end of the year, well, I'm quite happy with it. Well, the money's been okay. So, again, you can wear this dressed up, dressed down. I'm going to throw a brooch on there, which I personally love doing that as a, a nice little elegant touch. And yeah, dresses up something, dresses down something. Pop it on with a skirt for work. Quickly keep you warm, you know, not too much. It doesn't feel, doesn't feel like it's over the top. So, and it doesn't feel like too dreary because it's not black. So yeah, that's one of the, the purchases. One of the things I love about this jacket is just can throw it over anything. I'm just wearing it as a right top. That's pretty much it. Keep the cash. That's anyway. Next one, leather jacket. I got this leather. Um, I hope this doesn't offend anyone, but I got this leather from Just Jeans. This is about ten years old. When this um, when this falls apart, I will upgrade it to a le vegan leather, one, vegan leather one. But um, I find that. Wardrobe. wardrobe must have, I reckon it depends on what your style is. I find that I only purchased, like I said, I only purposely bought this because of that one purchase, but I've been wearing it since. But leather jacket's always going to be a staple for me. It makes a nice girly dress, you know, toughen up a little bit. Wear it going out, you can wear it to work, you know, with a nice shirt underneath, with nice slacks, nice heels. So you can actually make a lot of outfits with all these I'm going to show you. And it looks kind of like rock cheap too. So that's one of the reasons why I purchased this and why this is my wardrobe staples. And that's that one. So this is something I can wear. I've worn for about 10 years. I can't believe it still fits me. Um, yeah, so it's got like the little, let's put these back in. Um, it's got the little, I don't know what they're called, I mean. <laughs> the zips on the sides. So it looks kind of tough, but still quite polished so it's not really bica it's not really plain so it's quite good so that's another purchase that um another wardrobe must have in my wardrobe if that makes sense so that one the jackets are done so i'm going to talk about tops um the tops i am featuring today is not what you normally would pick um this one is a pebble i have a tummy I can't deny that. That's something that I've always had. No matter how small I've been, no matter how my biggest, I've always had that. And I mean, that's just part of me who I am. And I'm not changing. And I find pamphlets are the best. If you really, or even if you've got a food belly, or you're at time of month and you're bloated, these are the best things ever. Um, the peplum, anything peplum for me is the most, but the peplum covers the stomach. So if you've got like a bit of a bulge, that line cuts it off and then hi guys <sighs> sorry about this you're probably wondering why is this part of the video look she looks a bit different and she's dressed a bit differently well there's a bit of a technical glitch here at the time I did the video and therefore I have to do it all over again so I'm doing the second half so you don't have to hear the whole thing anyway um, I thought I'd continue on so be but before we do I just wanted to let you know what lipstick I'm wearing, in case you were wondering. It's the Chanel Rouge Allure number 99 in Pirate. I love good Chanel product. Love their beauty, especially their beauty. But anyway, 
before we, let's go further into the video. Um, I think I spoke about the peplum, so I just want to show you that again. Um, yeah, it's a must-have. Especially for those who have got a bit of a tummy. It's okay, girl. I get you. Um, yeah, looks quite cute. Wear it to work. Looks good with anything. I've never had an issue with this top. These tops, anyway. I've got them in many coloured versions as well. So I've got a red, like a orangey red. Actually, yeah, it looks more orange red. And an eggy blue, which a bit of sleeves, or cut sleeves. It's quite cute. I wear them all the time. I think about my style is I'll wear some to death, so I'm there, you know. So peplum is, def is a definite yes for me in my wardrobe collection. Next is, I've got a few variations of tops, but they're generally the same. So um, I've got a lot of, so I've got a lot of white, but this is a blouse, and this is a shirt, more structured, obviously you can wear it to work and play, or even just um, over a bikini, probably. A bit more loose one, like I'd probably find one really oversized just to wear over a bikini because, like, I definitely won't be walking down in the beach showing up my body in a bikini. In fact, I'll cover it as best as I can and I might as well look chic. So I'll wear like a nice shirt, probably wear this one to be honest because it's a bit more free flow. Um, I personally like blouses a bit more than shirts, to be honest. I have only started wearing shirts part recently, past few years. I don't think about shirts is because I'm quite busty um they get quite tight around here so i try to get blouses they're more free flow um and i get them oversized in the shirt that like you have to iron it which is another thing i don't like, really like ironing but um like a blouse it can go wrong looks great with leather pants work pants going out with jeans with skirts tucked in left out put on jewelry without jewelry however you like it's quite easy quite timeless piece too so um Blouse is definitely in my wardrobe, but I decided to add a shirt. I've had this for a long time because um, this is Suzanne's. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll wear this to work, going out with jeans, jeggings, leather pants, tucked into a skirt, like, pant, you know, like work pants, work, play, however you like. So um, I've got those. And I've got a black blouse, which I've got this from BW. Um, it's another good iron, but this is one of my favourites. You can um, obviously button it up, but it looks nice like a Kaga Chanel moment. Um, with pearls, looks quite cute. I wore that to work and I got many compliments. Um, yeah, so quite easy, free flow, not too restrictive. I don't like too tight, like I said. Um, I, yeah. yeah, so they're my favourite and quite easy going, like yeah, easy, nothing, not too much of. Like, I don't like, you know, I don't like to making too much of an effort, the easy, like, put on kind of thing. Um, next, we're going to talk about skirts. I was going to talk about pants, but I've got most of them in skirts anyway. Um, before we go into skirts, I've noticed I haven't added a little black dress to the collection. The reason is because um, back in the 20s, I used to find them a must have, but now in my 30s, I find that skirts and tops, you know, like separates, are probably better. Um, you can wear many other ways, you can add, you know, make a, a different outfit all the time, if that makes sense. A little bit dress is just that one, one staple, just wear a jacket, change the jacket and it's a different outfit, but with the separates you can make a completely different outfits and many more. So, as much as I love to add a little back dress, I have, I'm not going to, because it's a must-have wardrobe um, piece in my collection. Um, yeah, you can only wear it one way, pretty much, and the only way you can update it is with a jacket. Whereas I'd rather have separates and they look, they look nice and you can make it look like a, d a dress all together. So like I chained this with this skirt that I'm wearing now, which I'll show you in a second. And it looked like it looked like an actual dress. So it's just about re-wearing things, finding what suits you, re-wearing it and making a different outfit all together. Anyway, like um, we'll talk about the skirt that I'm wearing now. So, fun fact, I used to have a cotton on one. For about 10 years i had it so long like 10 years like i said i had it for so long that it started going bully <laughs> um it was my favorite skirt i wore it work play going out um a jumper a, like a low back top i wore it so many ways so many events you thought i probably uh, 
different skirts all the time, but chances are they're all the same. I just wore it so many different ways. Unfortunately, it's still again bully, so therefore I had to buy a new one. Funny enough, I found one recently, which I'm going to go buy, but I found this at Kmart. This will do me fine, because this is a must-have in my wardrobe. It's not boring like a plain bodycon skirt that I used to love back in the day. It's got some oof, you know, it swings, it looks cute, looks cute with the jumper, looks cute with a blazer, like if I add a blazer to this outfit, stockings because it's winter here, um, and a nice pair of heels, you, chances are I'll probably go out in town and go out. So yeah, a skater skirt is a must have. Like I said, I can change this jumper, put a shirt on and put a blazer, stockings and boots, or even high heels and go to work. Like literally, it's quite easy just to chuck on a different outfit, like make it look different. So skater skirt is a must have in my wardrobe. It's like, a, like I'm wearing it now with um, a Zara jumper that I've got. I think this is the last season anyway. Um, yeah, it was quite cute. Um, not by me around the house in this, I'll tell you that now. It's only for this video. Real truth there. Um, skater skirt is a must. The next the last item. Before we go into the pants, I just want to let you know, if you have made this part to, into the video, I applaud you. <laughs> but also, I'd love for you to comment down elegance. I'd like to see who's actually watched the whole video. Anyway, let's go into the pants. Um, yeah, these are from Forever New. show you. I had to go into the store to try on, try on these. Um, that's what usually what I do. I usually go to the store, try them on. If I like them again, I'd probably buy them again online. So I already know the store. Yeah, so these are 7 8th pants. I never used to like them, but um, I wear these so many times at work. They're so comfy. I've done squats in them just to show on Insta stories. Everyone's probably like, I'm sure they're comfortable, but I did squats and now they're definitely comfortable. Um, yeah, so they're great for work, great for going out, look great with boots, with heels. Um, yeah, so many ways you can wear these, going out, even just like going to work and them. Um, yeah, if you're, like, you're the type of person like I used to be that goes out after work, you definitely want to have something that, you don't want to bring so many clothes with you, like to probably change it. So thanks for watching. Like I said, if you have reached the end of this video, please comment down elegance and uh, I just want to see who has actually watched the whole video. And if you have... Um, I shout coffee if I ever see you. <laughs> yeah, like I said, do hit subscribe. This will support me and my journey for towards YouTube. And like I said, all my links will be down below, down below in the description box. Otherwise, thank you for tuning in. Tell me what your favourite um, item of the whole video was. And I'll see you in my next one. See you guys.